Hello everybody and welcome to Read the Principal Lindner. Today we're going to read a book called What James Said by Liz Rosenberg and illustrated by Matt Myers. Here we go. I'm never talking to James again. We are in a fight. James told Aiden who tells everything to Hunter, who whispered it to Katie, who informed Dante, who told it to Emily, Anna, and Declan, who let Declan's little sister in on it, who told me. That I think I am perfect. I do not think I am perfect. I have big feet and freckles. My hair is plain brown. And I am not the best speller or the best at math. I'm okay at art, but I don't brag about it. I can't help it if the art teacher likes me. She would like James better if he paid attention. If he wasn't always cracking jokes, knock knock, or trying to balance a feather when he's supposed to be gluing it, if he wasn't always losing his markers, or saying mean things behind his best friend's back. James and I used to be friends, but not anymore. I am ignoring him. What's wrong? He asked this morning. I didn't sit next to him on the bus like we always do. I had to sit between two fifth graders. Are you feeling okay? He asked while we were hanging up our coats in our cubbies. I just shrugged. We have matching jackets with green turtles all over and bright green hoods. Tomorrow, I'm going to wear a different coat to school. I'm not sure he knows we are in a fight. I sat with my girlfriend at lunch and glared at him across the cafeteria. He came over and asked, Do you have a stomachache? Do you want me to walk you to the nurse? No, thank you, I said, and went and threw my lunch into the trash. I wasn't very hungry then. Later, James slid a bag of my favorite chips onto my desk. I didn't eat them. At least, not right away. He drew a funny picture of himself that almost made me laugh out loud. Without James to talk to, the school day seemed to last forever. The clock didn't budge no matter how hard I stared at it. Finally, we all marched out to the gym for art day. My picture of the beach was at the front of the room. It's perfect, James said. I turned around. What? I said. I think it's perfect, James said. That's what I tell everyone. Oh, I said. Thank you. I didn't hear my name until the art teacher called it out for the third time. She looked mad by the time I got up there. I understood how James felt. She's pretty strict. Then she handed me a blue ribbon and smiled. The best of show. Everyone applauded, but James whistled. He is the best whistler in our grade by far. 
Somebody took my picture and the principal shook my hand. I couldn't wait to sit back down. I would rather draw all day than stand up in front of a bunch of people. James has the beach pitcher hanging in his room over his fish tank. He says the Siamese fighting fish likes the painting. I let him keep the blue ribbon that goes with it too. The ribbon used to say best of show. Now it says something else instead. Best of friends. So James said that her picture was perfect, not that she was perfect. Looks like there's a misunderstanding there. I'm glad that they figured it out and became best friends. That's a good story about uh, how you can work through problems with your friends. I hope you enjoyed that story. If you like that, you can like and subscribe down below and check out the rest of the stories here on Read the Principal Linear.